Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the SEC, there is one certainty. You never get a rest. You never get a chance to catch your breath. If you don't believe it, just try taking your C game or something to a place like Lexington or Nashville or Starkville. You know what will happen? You'll walk out with a loss. You have to bring your best in every single game in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Station Texas is alive with football excitement as this matchup is played here in Kyle Field. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Up the middle. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. Gannis picks up a yard on the play. Quick throw. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. Fights forward to about the 49. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. hands on it and dropped it. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From the 37 yard line, second down. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow he's able to throw the ball away. goes at the 20. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. He goes out of bounds at the 16-yard line. That makes it second and six. Shoved out of bounds. 
That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down the seven-yard line. through his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Missouri is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cowboys were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. This one was tight. And for Lowry, he put up outstanding numbers, more than 350 yards through the air. The Cowboys win it, 30 to 28. All right, Reese, back to our game. Bryant looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Taken down around the 36 yard line. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. a carry left side tackle around the 46 yard line a couple maybe three yards on that run just throws this one away and here's another third down Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 42. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Missouri holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. 
Nice run up the middle. He gets hit out of bounds around the 42 yard line. Two times, two times. He's tackled at the 44. There's a strike complete, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run there. Gaddis gets about four yards on the play. It's second and five here. Ball on the 41. Gets out to around the 32. First down. Missouri is up by three. And he's tackled at the 18. And for Gaddis, that carry puts him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. Anytime a back has a year like this, it sure opens some eyes. And let me tell you, he's earned every one of those yards. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's going to come up with a sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Field in the gun with five wide receivers. Caught with room to work, and they make the stop at the 12-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Mountaineers of West Virginia have Morgantown ready and rocking. The Mount River, the perfect connection and a touchdown. It's impressive. He's already passing. The Mountaineers have the edge. All right, Reese, 6 nothing in this one. The Brian has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's level at the 26. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 27 yard line. He's hit immediately. Uh, 
He scrambles. Dive. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 50, it's second down. Watch 14, watch 14. God, stay, stay. Here we go. Black 98. Black 98. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at midfield. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. No game. Fourth down. Charles awaits the snap. It's away and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Missouri up six. Out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. Fires incomplete, knocked away. More is the deep man awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. The Tigers have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they have played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at about the 45. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 49. They're more worried about interceptions. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Missouri is up by six. Under pressure. On the move, throws complete to the tailback. He's hit and taken down. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 6-0, Tigers.
Back to the end here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down. Off up the middle. He fights forward to about the 49. Nearly intercepted. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Talks. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Missouri with a six point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And they push him out right around the six-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From the six-yard line, second down. Play action. Brought down just outside the goal line. Gives it off. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's head to Morgantown. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. The Mountaineers lead it by two touchdowns early in the fourth quarter. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. And hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. is out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 36.
quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. From their own 42-yard line, third down. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Let's it go. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Oh, it almost picked off. Watch it all. Can't connect. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Brian is the putter. Oh, excellent punt. Moore fields it at the 34. Brought down at the 49 yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line. down for a loss and he was pretty much stuffed on that run you know what that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum second down about 12 yards to go ball on the 17 yard line Mike 56 Mike 56 ready red 68 red 68 the 10 gains his way to the seven yard line They get nice yardage on that run. Let's go, let's go. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He makes the PAT. So a five-play, 49-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 9-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Missouri with a two-point advantage. He wants it all going long. Brought down with only one man to beat. He 
makes it to the 35-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Call of a gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 25-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run up the middle. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 16-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down. Missouri is up two. He's tackled at the eight. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Throwing right. but he can't shake the defense. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. From the 34-yard line, 
It's second down. Watch 98. Watch 98. 98. Ready. Ready. And a quick throw. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And the screen pass goes nowhere. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. it out. He caught it. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. He tacks on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So our score, 16-14. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Missouri holds just a two-point lead. down at about the 33 yard line he ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage that he did and he made a good catch that short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go screen pass he's got his half back and he shoved out of bounds at the 35 yard line they couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Brian awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. Moore takes it to 21. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. So we've played two quarters. The Tigers lead... 16-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this great. Watch one of the best games here just unfolding in front of us on that importantly to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's gonna do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm gonna get something in the cafeteria, I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 37. Two times, two times. Down. And he is drilled at the 23. made at the eight-yard line. And down he goes, right around the two-yard line. Strike to the receiver, touchdown! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats were ranked 22nd. Now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot in the poll. There is no room to take anything for granted in college football. When you do, it bites you right in the keister. West Virginia finishes at 38-31. Reese, we got a great game going on here. Charles has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it to the 34. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. That brings in second and nine. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He fights forward to about the 36. complete the play. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Makes the catch, and he might take it. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Oh, 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 oh. 
Give to the tailback. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 34. This one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Tackled after a decent pickup. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 11-yard line. Rogers makes the tackle at the 11-yard line. First down. Switch, switch, switch. Gets it out quickly. Got an opening. And he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Man left, man left. That brings him second and one. Play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Play game. Awesome. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Second down and six. Eight yards out. Decent run up the gut. Yanis picks up about four yards on the play. He gets another carry. Touchdown, Tigers! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And he's got it. He's tackled at the 39. This one away. Look like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense offsides. First and five. Ball on the 44.
Quick toss. Caught. Nope. It popped down. Incomplete. Gets to about the 44-yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That'll make it good. Tailback. And he's level at the 42-yard line. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. run there. Missouri with a one-point lead. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. After positive yardage. Gaining five yard rights. That'll make it seven and four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gaining seven and four. That makes it first and ten. Nice run to the outside. That's a team of six in the middle. That'll make it second and four. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Mike, 50, Mike, 50. Set, Mike. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. and 10. Ball on their own 40. Tries to fit it in there, but it's picked off. He's at the 40. And now he's got room to run. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 25-yard line, first down. Missouri, up a point. They try running left. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. He may 
takes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. And off, and he's met immediately. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 10. On the run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. And he can't get away from the pressure. This should be an easy field goal. Missouri is up one. Kicks away. And it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's taken down at the 33. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Scrambling around, and he's sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. drilled at the 33-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Missouri's up by four. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Quick strike, and he drops it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go! 
He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Clemson hopes to reinstate the chicken curse and knock off the Gamecocks in the Battle of the Palmetto State. And for Clemson, they can win their ninth game of the year today. Clemson has the lead, 24-20. Reese's one couldn't be more exciting. Charles gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Room around the corner. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That brings in second and nine. Nice run and he's brought down. And down he goes at about the 37 yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 37. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his wideout. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle. Up the middle for a nice game. He's scrambling. Big opening. Tackle around the 16-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 
14. Bring him down right around the 12 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it 35. From the 12 yard line, third down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the five yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. By 56, by 56. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Texas A&M is up by three. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. For Carter, he makes it three TD catches. Yeah, this guy's in his zone. He's catching every single ball thrown his way. And he converts the extra point. So a 10-play, 47-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Charles is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. Somehow, even with all his great passing stats, they still trail by a decent amount. So expect this crowd to get even louder here, trying to be the 12th man. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Gives it up the gut. Nice run there as they work the outside. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Two. I got two. Fires a bullet out to the right. Thomas is the intended receiver on the ball. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. I got two, got two, got two. 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 Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Taken down, right around the 40. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Run, 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 run. They 
go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. This is the eighth play of this drive. Caught with room to work. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 27-yard line. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Rifles it left. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. Brian has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Well, we're over two minutes to go in the game. The offense has a chance here to secure the victory. All they have to do is pick up a first down, keep the clock moving, and be able to get out of here with a win. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Fumble, loose ball. He's at the 40. one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That brings us second and five. Hit second down, five to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Mike 56, Mike 
makes it to the 47. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Missouri will have one timeout remaining. From the 47-yard line, second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Golden gets about four yards on the draw play. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. Man left, man left. He fights forward to about the 40. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. He takes a knee. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Texas A&M, 36. Missouri, 33. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Missouri played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.